Going for the family jewels. Hey everybody, this is BK with Masada Tactical with another video and today we're going to discuss why and how we may want to kick someone towards the groin area. A staple strike, kick, combative in Israeli combat system and or Krav Maga is obviously a kick to the groin. In our system we refer to it as an A-frame kick based on the shape of the legs where I'm kicking them because we're not actually aiming for the groin per se from a legal standpoint, we're aiming anywhere on the inner thigh, uh, the femoral nerve is a good target. If I end up getting groin, bonus points, but that is not from a legal standpoint articulation that I'm going to give to this kick. We have two kicks in our system, offensive and defensive, where defensive kicks are designed to create space, push someone away, which gives them the opportunity to reassess, figure out what my next step is. And then we have our offensive kicks, which are designed to end a fight. Okay, those are the ones that are hopefully creating enough pain and damage to where my opponent can't keep fighting me anymore. An apron kick would be an offensive kick in that sense. From the mechanic standpoint, power always comes from the hip. I'm not just sending my leg up. It may look like I'm leaning backwards, but my hip is actually being driven forward. At the moment of impact, my knee is still going to be slightly bent. I don't want to hyperextend my own joint and I want to make sure there's as much momentum as possible going through the target. The analogy going through my mind is I want his testicles coming out of his mouth, which means I want to drive it all the way up. At the end of every strike, this kick included, I want to recall. Coming right back, setting myself up for the next strike, follow up my next action. I'm going to show it now live on a pad, see if you don't mind. Notice that Steve, if you're going to train this with a partner, is holding the pad ahead of him. Again, I'm going to make contact with my instep, my shoelaces area, which means my toes are going to go past the pad. So for safety purposes, make sure you don't hold it against your body, but someone ahead. I'm going to look at his face. I'm not looking at the target. Kick in, come right back to where I can continue. One more time. And finishing the fight. Super effective kick. There's a reason it is a staple in our system. This kick will end a fight most likely and all men and women included know that every strike towards the groin is going to hurt a lot and probably take their will to fight away. Be careful when practicing it and hopefully if you have to use it in a fight, do it aggressively. I want to thank everybody that's been subscribing, sending messages and comments to our videos. Keep that going. Please share our channel with other people, with friends who you feel can benefit from our knowledge and skills that we share with you. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our social media channels youtube linkedin instagram and facebook and till next time watch your six